I am Slick Nick, your personal certified Enneagram coach. Here's something I've been thinking about. This whole Enneagram thing, when it really comes down to it, no one can prove it wrong. No one can prove it wrong. Now, I would say with Zodiac, it's a little bit easier to prove it wrong because it's based on your birthday. But with this, it's not based on when you were born. It's here's who you are and I can back it up by helping you understand who you become when you're stressed and who you become when you are relaxed. And there's a little bit of an accent on that based on the Enneagram next to you. Specifically, think about this, out of the nine Enneagrams, there's not a tenth. And there couldn't be because they're all inter interchanged to each other. They're all connected to each other. So it's not like we can discover this tenth personality that's been there the whole time. If anything, that quote tenth personality is usually <laughs> number nine. Usually it's, I don't know my Enneagram. None of these really seem to, to match to me. I kind of seem like I'm a little bit of all of them. Well, there you go. Then that's probably which one you are. That's what I found. But I think a lot of times people maybe just don't fully understand it, which is something I'm very passionate about is helping people understand which Enneagram they are. And by the way, this is the best guidebook for Enneagram. You can buy it easily off of Amazon. I put a link right there to help you out. But isn't it interesting? This is hard to disprove once you actually know enough about it. There's nine personalities. I can confidently say, hey, there's nine basic personalities that exist. Now, if we want to get technical, we could look at the wings and say, well, technically, then there's 18. Because for me, as an Enneagram 7, I could have an 8 wing, which I do have, or I could have a 6 wing. So there's two versions of each one. We could ultimately, if we really wanted to dice it up there. But isn't that interesting? That, and I think that's part of why Enneagram is so fascinating. Because once people start learning about themselves, I mean, just for me personally, in the past, what, 90 days, I've learned a lot about myself. I have learned I've got anxiety, but it's driven specifically by anger, not by fear, because I have the eight wing, there's, there's the anger. Didn't know that, didn't know that people see me as this high-strung, tense, action-packed guy. I didn't know that, I've learned so much about myself. My own family, they've learned so much about themselves, and it's been so beneficial. So I do think it's very interesting that no one really tries to prove Enneagram wrong. Now granted, I think I've made a, a joke before saying that uh, maybe an Enneagram 4 might say, oh, I'm an Enneagram 4 who always wants to be special. Oh, well, you can't, you can't categorize me. I'm different. I'm special. Now granted, I've never spoken with an Enneagram 4 who actually told me that. But I have had some 8s just completely dismiss me when I brought up Enneagram. They're just not impressed or interested by it. And that makes sense because they're the challenger, which I feel <laughs> only further proves how valid Enneagram is. So, do you have anything to add to that? I mean, would you like to have some fun and try to disprove Enneagram? Ultimately, I think whatever a person would put in the comment section is ultimately gonna provide me fuel to easily back up why Enneagram is valid. And I'm, I'm happy to take that challenge because again, my my wing is eight, so I've got that in my blood. But yeah, I think it would be pretty cool and, and actually a lot of fun, because I'm a seven, actually. <laughs> I'm the enthusiast, so everything's fun to me. It would be fun to, to accept your challenge, and I could back it up with Enneagram. No matter what anybody puts in here trying to disprove Enneagram, I think I could easily back it up, and probably with this book itself, and say, yeah, here, here's the explanation why your understanding of Enneagram doesn't quite make sense. And I assure you, it's just a lack of understanding, which I will be happy to fill in those gaps and help you better understand why Enneagram ultimately doesn't make sense to you or why you think you found an exception to the rule. Your comments belong right there. And if you want to buy the book, I've got a link there where you can buy it. Comments right there.